and welcome to the Chichis Wushy. Hello, I'm Leslie, and this is the Children's Worship of the First United Methodist Church of Montclair and Verona. We're so glad that you're here with us to worship God and to learn about Him. Today we're going to be learning about Jonah and how reluctant he was to follow God. I don't know about you, but I've been there too. Even when I want to follow God, it can be hard. So we are so grateful that we serve a God who gives us many opportunities to follow Him. Before we get to worship today, let's get our hearts ready and pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for using us to help other people to know your love and your hope. God, when we're reluctant, like Jonah, when we have a hard time following you, please help us to think about your love and to follow you. And in these moments when we want to worship you, please help us to put down everything else and to clear our minds and our hearts so that we can receive your message for us and worship you truly today. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible 
So this week's message is about Jonah. So remind me what happened again. He's called by God to go to the people of Nineveh, tell them they're doing bad things, but he doesn't want to, even though he's a prophet. So he gets on a boat, he jumps, you know, he jumps all the boat, he gets eaten by the fish. Oh. oh, but then the big fish spits him out. And then he goes and helps the people anyway. Yeah, but he's like kicking and screaming the whole way. He doesn't want to do what God wants him to do. You know, kind of like when you didn't want to put gas in your tank. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You had so many opportunities to put gas in your tank. And then you got stuck on the side of the road and I had to rescue you. Not ringing a bell. Okay, so in the end, Jonah and I had to do what we had to do. I had to put gas in the truck, and Jonah had to go tell the people of Nineveh that God was coming after them for sinning. We were really torn and reluctant, but we did what we had to do. Because in the end, it's better to do the right thing when we're supposed to do the right thing, rather than waiting. Even if we griped and complained the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. What you're talking about? Like I typically do about everything. <laughs> hey, so we can all be like Jonah and Rob sometimes because we're human and God knows that. We can be reluctant to follow God, but in the end when we do, um, God can use us to do great things and he can use us to be the light of the world. This is the light of mine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. We're so glad that you joined us this week. A big thanks to everybody who made this possible. Um, and hopefully we'll see you back next week. If you liked what you saw, please like and comment with any feedback that you have. And um, before we end, let's put our hands together and pray. Dear God, please work in our lives so that when we're reluctant like Jonah, that we can um, follow you and be good followers of yours. Please guide us and keep us safe until we're here together next week. In Jesus' name, amen. So go with the following blessing and have a great week. Bye. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9.